Okay, I got a lot of questions about the Samsung Gear S. So just went running with it this morning, a little over four miles, and let's open up the app. So this is the Gear app, and I'm on a Pixel 5. Shows you your battery, all that information. Shows you how long you've been using your battery, when it was last charged, etc., etc., which is really nice. You know, if you have the watch face on too high of a brightness, you're going to see that the watch face uses most of the battery. Anyway, and you can uh, navigate, you can check, update the software, install new watch faces, and open Samsung Health. So it's automatically going to synchronize each time you open, and it's also going to synchronize in the background on your Android phones. So here we go, we have 108 active minutes. Uh, my goal is only 35, so pretty nice. If you click on the steps right there, you can see a breakdown of your steps throughout the day. You can see the peaks, and you scroll down, you can see healthy steps, almost 6,000. That was during my run. Click on trends, and that's going to show you trends throughout the days. And you can even go to trends for weeks, so week time frame, and months. And right there in black is my uh, goal of 7,000 per day. Rewards, total achieved, so basically how many times I've reached 7,000 steps. Now if we go back, most steps walked, that was on January 9th when I was in Las Vegas for the Consumer Electronics Show, awesome. Yeah, busy day, 30,000 steps. And we'll go back and you can add water, keep track of that. You can go back to previous days and add water and you can do this on the watch and the two talk to each other and synchronize. Uh, here's my sleep patterns. Uh, if you're up too long during the night, you know, you have a break and taking care of a kid or a pet or you're eating a snack in the kitchen, uh, it will segment the sleep times. But in total, I slept almost nine hours last night and it combines them during the day. And it gives you a breakdown of your actual sleep time, efficiency, motionless time, restlessness, and so on and let you know which device. So currently I'm using the Gear S2 Classic released back in fall of 2015. And if we keep scrolling down, we'll see our activities. There we go, treadmill, hiking, and there we go, running. So here's my run this morning, one hour and three minutes. And if you scroll over, it'll show you previous workouts. So right here is this morning's workout, and you get trophies, yay! So yeah, Samsung Health is gamified exercise and movement, just like Fitbit and Garmin and oh, many, many others. Uh, here's my heart rate information, elevation, all that fun stuff, workout details. So quite a, yeah, a ton of stats. It even tracks the weather based upon your location when you're running. So there's my average cadence. Beats per minute, 138, and, and so on. You can read these. And you can even add pictures. So I'll go to images, and I'll add a picture from my camera from this morning. There we go, me and my running partner. Then you can add notes on how you felt. Felt awesome. Okay, if we could spell, let's try that again. Felt awesome running this morning. And then you can go share. So you can share in rewards, you can share a route. So that's kind of fun. Chart, whatever you want. I like to do the route. And then click share. And it will automatically let you choose how you want to share it. So I'll share it to uh, Twitter. then it quickly uh, brings up the app unless you tweet it. Hooray for sunny weather. And there we go. So that's uh, Samsung Health uh, feedback when you're running. And yeah, it's pretty awesome. There's also the Together where you can view uh, how you're competing against your friends. So yay. I'm winning. 
You can also do all users. So based upon all users on Samsung Health over the last seven days, I'm in the top 14%. And you can even do age group. So age group, again, top 18, yay. And then this is really fun. These are the challenges. So this was the Igloo challenge in January where we compete against literally just 40,000 people. So it's still gathering results. I was trying to get into the top 10%. I think I just missed it. Uh, you really kind of need double the amount. So the goal is 200,000. And this is the new challenge, the Global Challenge Spa in February. So it quickly configures, shows you how many steps for the month. Good luck with the spa challenge. Welcome to the challenge. It will be even better now that you're here. Are you ready to get active? Thanks, Samsung. So I have 25 days left. This is really cool. It's animated. It's a little different every day. And they have daily challenges. Okay, record weight. Sure. So go and record my weight. Record manually. And I weighed in today at 170 and a half. Body fat, I think, is at 18. And save. There we go. And then, boom, it gives you five experience points. Edit friends. Okay, I'll do that later. And it still gives you five points. And the more experience points you get, the higher you're raking. So when you go back to right here, together, or on, yeah, it has to be together. You can see that I am a achiever. Four wins, achiever, level 11, 295 points. So I have another 300 and change until level 12. So kind of fun. And then it gives you a history of all your global challenges. So I did one in October, November, December. Pretty soon the January one will show up here as well. And it shows you all of your individual challenges. Pretty fun. And there we go. Oh yeah, insights. Click on the light bulb. Daily activity briefing, yay, 35 minutes. Yesterday's active time. So I'm up 83 minutes over yesterday. Good morning, Peter. Your goal today is to be active for 35 minutes. You beat yesterday's activity goal by 48 minutes. Nice work. And yeah, so these are really fun and they'll pop up on your phone and you can go back and view them later and they even have the discovery. So they'll have health tips, uh, information about uh, nutrition, exercise, you name it, all over the place. So yeah, there's your uh, Samsung uh, health app tour. And again, this is the Android version of the app. Uh, they have one on the Apple iOS. Yeah, it's not that great. So you just kind of have to be realistic. It's a Samsung smartwatch, so it's going to work better on a Samsung phone. Well, there you go. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and good luck in 2008.